Hello audience, my name is Anna. I wish you happiness and a nice day. Editor Anna would like to welcome you for visiting and here is the official news. 1. Hugh Grant jokes he is unable to shake off his creepy character in Heretic. I killed three people this afternoon. Hugh Grant stars as a religious scholar who takes two young missionaries hostage in the thriller, Heretic, which also features Sophie Thatcher and Chloe East. At the L.A. premiere, Grant humorously remarked on the intensity of his character, jokingly claiming, I killed three people this afternoon. The film had its world premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival, too. Tom Holland's Spider-Man 4 to release on this date Tom Holland's Spider-Man will return to theaters in an untitled sequel set for release on July 24, 2026, as reported by Variety. The film, directed by Destin Daniel Credin, will debut two months after Avengers Doomsday, which is scheduled for May 1, 2026. 3. Hollywood celebs attended Diddy's freak-off parties? Big Proof Emerges reports indicate that Sean Diddy Combs hosted extravagant parties attended by Hollywood celebrities, which allegedly turned into wild orgies after hours. These events, documented by The Post, featured A-listers from the sports and music industries. Diddy is currently incarcerated at Brooklyn's Metropolitan Detention Center. 4. Ben Affleck is ready to date again but has one condition for his next partner. After his divorce from Jennifer Lopez, Ben Affleck is open to dating again but has a strict condition. He prioritizes sobriety. Following their split, which occurred after two years of marriage, Affleck feels ready to move on. Sources indicate that he is looking for someone who aligns with this focus on sobriety. 5. Hugh Jackman and Sutton Foster sneak around to keep their romance under wraps amid latter's divorce Sutton Foster and Hugh Jackman are reportedly in a romantic relationship following Foster's recent divorce from her husband, Ted Griffin, after 10 years of marriage. Sources indicate that the couple is deeply in love and prefers to keep their relationship private. 6. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey may venture into the booze business. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey are exploring the idea of launching a liquor business as part of their future ventures together. The couple, who began dating in the summer of 2023, is considering various business opportunities as they plan for their future, with a liquor brand being a top priority. They have been seen supporting each other at concerts and games. 7. Viral, Tom Holland goes full on Spider-Man to protect Zendaya from swarming paparazzi. Fans love a protective BF Tom Holland and Zendaya have had a complicated relationship with paparazzi. But recently, Holland showcased his protective side. On October 24, he came to Zendaya's aid in New York City as fans and paparazzi surrounded her. The couple was seen matching outfits at the launch of Holland's new non-alcoholic beer brand, Vero. Videos of the incident went viral, leading fans to praise Holland's chivalry. The couple, often referred to as Tom Dia, was initially seen walking hand in hand before being separated by the crowd. 8. Jennifer Garner is running to Ben Affleck after JLo split as boyfriend wants wedding. Jennifer Garner is navigating a challenging situation as she supports her ex-husband, Ben Affleck. During his divorce from Jennifer Lopez, while also managing her relationship with John Miller, who is eager to marry her. Garner, who was married to Affleck for 13 years and shares three children with him, has been a source of support for Affleck, but this has caused concern for Miller who is growing impatient with her frequent involvement with her ex. 9. James Franco says it's over with Seth Rogen after forced sex scene lawsuit. 20 years of friendship James Franco has revealed that his long-standing friendship with Seth Rogen is officially over, 
largely due to the sexual misconduct allegations against him in 2018. In a recent interview with Variety, Franco reflected on the challenges he faced during his hiatus from the spotlight and the changes he underwent. As he prepares for his return in the Italian film, Hey Joe, he continues to address the impact of these events on his life and career. 10. Matthew Perry's mom says friend star had a premonition about his death, he came up to me and said. In an emotional interview with Today, Suzanne Morrison, Matthew Perry's mother, shared her reflections on their last conversation before his tragic death. She expressed her belief that Perry had an intuition about his fate, describing a sense of inevitability regarding what was to come. The interview, set to air on October 28, coincides with the anniversary of Perry's passing. 11. Radiohead's Tom York does not give a flying foo asterisk. If fans want a reunion, comment he's old and grumpy in a recent interview with Australia's Double J. Tom York of Radiohead addressed fan speculation about a potential band reunion and new music. He expressed indifference to the rumors, stating, I don't really give a flying foo asterisk and emphasized that the band has the right to pursue what makes sense to them without being beholden to fans' expectations. York also noted that he does not feel pressure to uphold Radiohead's legacy, viewing it as a non-issue, and appreciates their current creative freedom. 12. Venom The Last Dance Movie Review Tom Hardy's bittersweet adieu to his best friend is a moderately fun watch, Venom. The Last Dance marks the conclusion of the Venom franchise, which began in 2018. While the previous films had mixed receptions, with the sequel being particularly criticized, this threequel returns to its roots and offers a moderately enjoyable finale. Directed by Kelly Marcel, who has been involved with the series since the beginning as the head screenwriter, the film benefits from her directorial debut, providing a fitting end to Tom Hardy's portrayal of the character.